Hey guys, it's Benny. So um, today I'm just going to go over three basic remedy reactions. Really, you got better, you got worse, or you're the same. I mean, that's really a reaction to everything in life, right? <laughs> One of those three things. Um, so firstly, if you got better, fantastic, excellent. That is what we are always hoping for. Um, I would just caution to keep paying attention to the pattern of your improvement. Do you get, you know, 100% better 30 minutes after the remedy, and then it drops down to 60% better eight hours later, or maybe you get a little bit worse right after the remedy, and then it sort of comes back down, and then you sort of, you feel 100% better. You know, it, just pay attention because Things can change, you know, hours after the remedy, minutes after the remedy, days after the remedy dose. It just depends on the person. And it doesn't matter if, like, if you don't notice anything, that's fine too. But if you notice some sort of fluctuation, then we can often adjust the dose so that you're a bit more consistent, that you stay 100% better for a long period of time, right? Which is always my goal, anyway. 100% better all the time. <laughs> Which I know is asking a lot of the world that my all my patients get to 100%, but whatever, that's just me. So with no improvement, uh, it's often the most frustrating for both practitioners and patients, I think. So the big concern that is a possibility is that homeopathy is not a modality that's going to help you. Sorry to say it. As a homeopath, I always like to think that everything can be hopeful helped with homeopathy, but sometimes that's just not the case. Um, it depend. I can't really speak to, to what other modality would be helpful, because obviously I'm speaking in big generals right now. Um, but, you know, something like lifestyle might be more of a factor. Something more physical, like chiropractic or osteopathic treatment might be a bit more helpful. It just sort of depends on what you're dealing with. But, so that's certainly a possibility. The other two possibilities are basically that it's the right remedy, but the wrong dose. So the dose is not large enough or you haven't given the dose enough time to work. Um, and that's why you're not seeing an improvement. So, you know, if you took one dose of a 30 and a week later you didn't feel any different, maybe you need daily dosing or maybe you need one dose of a 200. Like it, it, it depends. So. It, the first thing to think about is adjusting the dose and then of course the other possibility is that the remedy is the incorrect remedy. Um, so for me, if someone comes in for a follow-up and they haven't had any change, it's essentially like I end up retaking the whole initial case um, because I'm checking to see if I missed anything. Sometimes if I think on the second time through, like actually, you know what, this sounds a bit more like this other remedy, I'm going to switch. I switch, but often I'm like, no, this still sounds like a great remedy, and then I increase the dose. And so those are the those are the things that we're looking for when there's been no change. Okay. So then the last possibility is that you got worse, which I know can sometimes be really horrible. <laughs> um, and obviously I don't want you to suffer, but in in many ways it's actually a good thing because First of all, as a practitioner, there's a lot more I can do if you get worse because it's like, like things are dynamic, things are changing, like I can work with this. The no reaction is a lot harder to work with, actually, unfortunately. Um, but obviously we don't want you to suffer. So if you are getting worse at all, obviously get in touch with your homeopath um, because no need to suffer in silence, really. <laughs> um, but. Often what it means is that we've got the right remedy, but the dose is a bit too high. Um, so it's making you worse instead of making you better. This is really the most common like side effect in homeopathy. Is We call it a homeopathic aggravation. It's when your symptoms get worse. Now the thing to remember though about this is that it's the exact same symptoms you already have. So this is not like you got a headache you've never had before in your entire life come out of nowhere. No, like it's the stuff you already have has gotten worse. That's a homeopathic aggravation. 
okay? And that usually just means we have to adjust the dose. But that we've got the right remedy, we're on the right track, and you should be getting better soon, okay? Um, if you get something you've never had before, then um, that's a little bit different. That usually, I often in my head call it the Britney's been a Dumbo reaction. Uh, because what it can mean is that the homeopath got very close to the right remedy, but it's not exactly the right remedy. And it's like the body just starts sending out symptoms and being like, hey, Dumbo homeopath, like, that's not the right remedy. This is the right remedy. Like, let me show you some extra symptoms so that now you know what the actual right remedy is. Okay. Now, it's not always that the first remedy was incorrect, because often people will get a lot better on the first remedy, but it's like they plateau at 50% better and then they suddenly get new symptoms. This is called zigzagging, if you're interested um, in homeopathy. And really what it means is, is that the person's going to need a couple different remedies before they get better. So you've gotten the first remedy, they've gotten a certain amount of improvement, now things are changing and you're going to need a second remedy. Some people need many remedies before they are completely better. But, so just know it's a possibility you're going to have to switch remedies, even if the first one wasn't necessarily wrong. So I hope that clears things up, and I hope it, it helps alleviate some worry. Sort of know wh what, what reaction means what potential changes need to be made. Okay? Alright, till next time. Bye!